Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to Friday, the 21st day of June, 2024. God has been so faithful this month and I know that his blessing is being unleashed upon you. Our topic today on the seeds of destiny is arrogance, the hindrance to divine direction. The Bible says, when pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Proverbs 11, 2. Thought for the day, pride makes people too arrogant to be instructed. Let me just say something. You see, many times, pride makes people unable to see that they are wrong and deceives them into being unable to apologize. It's so terrible. Pride shall not be an issue in your life after today in the name of Jesus. We had an experience some years ago when we were about to go into full-time ministry. We went to see a man of God in another town to show him the vision that we had about the ministry. And there was a pastor who was there visiting from Abuja at that time. He also went to see the man of God that we went to see. Now, while we were talking about the vision to this other pastor, this to the man of God, this other pastor began to ask him in the presence of the older man of God. He said, he told him, he, told, he said to us, Abuja is already, already has enough churches. Ah, look at this church. They have many members in Abuja. Look at this other church. They have so many members and they have many branches. Look at this one. He just kept on lying. Then the older man of God said to him, is he talking to you? Are you the one he came to see? Leave him alone. After this, we came back to Abuja and the ministry commenced. After a while, God gave us so much explosion and we thank God for that. Then one day, the same man that said Abuja already has enough churches, meaning don't even bother coming to Abuja, came to see God's servants in the office. And he said to him, I wasn't there that day, but he told God's servant, he said, we thank God for what he's doing in your ministry. Uh, we thank God for all that we're seeing. Please, what is the secret of church growth? Hmm? <laughs> and God's servant wanted to an answer his question. But before he could say a word, the man interrupted God's servant and said, I know there's a need for solid prayer life. I know there's a need for the study of the word. He began to answer the question that he himself asked. And when the man was done talking, God's servant, my husband said to him, Ah, oh, you know it all. There's no need to say anything again. So go ahead and do what you already know. It was obvious that he only came to show off that what he thought he knew and he didn't come to learn. You see, pride makes people too arrogant to be instructed. There are people who are dying in silence because they feel they are too big to ask questions. Our counsel to you today is humble yourself and ask both, go, both God and the right people the right questions that is necessary. That is how to make progress in life because no one knows it all. Remember this, pride makes people too arrogant to be instructed. What's our assignment today? Number one, humble yourself before both God and the right people to get the right instructions. And number two, adjust your mind to learn from anything and from anybody that God would choose to use, including small children. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, thank you, Lord, for your word to me today. I ask for the grace to resist the temptation of being too arrogant to be instructed. Help me to learn from everything and everyone at all times. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise God. I believe that um, God's help will be made available to you in Jesus' name. Our Bible reading, we're already in Psalm 130. And I'd like to encourage you to please stay up to date with your Bible reading so that you can stay ahead and complete it by the time the year is coming to an end. Don't forget to study, take notes, learn, take actions. God bless you. And I'd like to pray for somebody today who wants to be born again. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, 
thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner, I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And I want to pray for you. It's your birthday today. Before I close, I want to wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and God be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.